everyone, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to episode whatever of the Spearhead Sunnies podcast. Actually, no, scratch that. That's not what this podcast is called anymore. Spearhead Sundays is old hat. We're upgrading. We're moving on to bigger, better, more important things. Guys, welcome to the brand new Shadow Legend Sundays podcast. Now, this is not sponsored. I want you to know that this is not sponsored at all. I am not being paid or compensated in any way. This is my honest opinion, okay? If you are unhappy about me being sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends, never watch anything I do ever again. And that's not a joke because you are blocking the bag and I don't need any bag blockers around here. Ladies and gentlemen, that's not what we're about here, okay? No, for, I cannot fucking believe that I, one day, I go, oh, 23 of my live shows have been cancelled. My upcoming tour, international shows, my comedy special for what is looking like an entire year. I can't believe that I've said that. And some dumb cunt has the audacity to ask me why I'm advertising a mobile game. Gee, I don't know, bro. Maybe because I don't want to fire all of my employees. Oh, sorry, Keelan. Yeah, look, mate, I, uh, I really would like to continue, you know, paying you to do a good job um, and also paying my rent. But unfortunately... One guy is unhappy that uh, Raid Shadow Legends has microtransactions in it, so I'm going to have to turn down my rent for the month and also your salary. But sorry, you don't have a job anymore. That's what I'm going to do, huh? Bro, straight up, if you are unhappy about Raid Shadow Legends, man, go away. And that's serious. (laughs) That's the truth. Look, I can't believe I got so much flack for that. And people are like... Dumb cunts in the comments section are like, oh, he's just pretending to play it. Do you, who the fuck do you think I am? I check out everything that I fucking advertise very thoroughly. And I make sure that it's not a fucking scam, that it's not fucking bullshit, and that it's not spyware. And that's what I've done with Raid. And I've looked at it, and I played it for fucking two weeks in a row to be sure, right? And What I found was, oh, it has microtransactions and they are pay to win. But you know what, guys? That's mobile gaming. If you download a mobile game for free, you're going to be paying $70 for gems. And that's the industry. That's how it works, guys. It's not a scam. It's just fucking shit. All right? What would you rather? Anyway, I never understood this. these cunts getting angry about microtransactions that do one thing, but they're happy with microtransactions that do the other thing. My opinion is, they're all fucking bullshit. I just want to p- buy the game and then play the full thing. Stop charging me to wear different kinds of shoes, all right? Look, there are two types of people in this world, right? People that think pay to win is bad, but paying... <laughs> That's the funniest shit. Like, oh... Paying to win is bad, but paying $20 to look like Ninja in Fortnite is fine. Cunt, paying to look like Ninja in Fortnite is way worse. At least I win when I pay to win. I don't want to look like a fucking ninja character. Dude, okay, look, microtransactions are only bad if they help you win. If they do absolutely fucking nothing and are absolutely a waste of money, that's fine. I'm being facetious. There's a lot of problems with pay to win. I do understand. But look, guys, look, what I'm saying is this is no longer Spearhead Sundays. This is Shadow Legend Sundays, and it's going to stay like that forever. If I see one negative comment about Raid Shadow Legends or anything else I promote, right? Unless there's like, no, look, I understand cunts trying to fucking keep people accountable, but I don't understand this Raid Shadow Legends shit, okay? Yes, it's a mobile game, all right? Now, I'm not being paid, and I'm pretty sure they're not watching this, so you want to know my honest thoughts about Raid Shadow Legends? Here it fucking is. Raid Shadow Legends isn't fun, not because it's a bad game, it's not that fun because... It's a mobile game, and there aren't good mobile games. That's why we have consoles and PCs, because mobile gaming is bad. Mobile games, every mobile game is fun for five days, max. Pokemon Go, five days, boring. 
And that is the best we have ever achieved with a mobile game. Mario Kart Racing? Okay, cool. Why would I do this on my phone when I could do it on my Switch? That's as close as we've ever gotten. Was, oh, this is fun for four days, and now I'm bored. Raid Shadow Legends? I, I played it for two weeks. It was fun for five days, just like every other mobile game. And that's how it's going to be. And I'm going to continue to advertise it if they continue to pay me because I love paying rent. It's the best. I love having employees and being able to pay them. Oh, sorry, dude. Yeah, um, look, I actually got a brand deal and that would cover your wages for a while, but unfortunately I'm going to have to let you go. Oh, why? Did you get approached by an actual scam like BetterHelp? No, no, just people are just angry about a mobile game uh, because it's not as good as a console game. Oh, okay, that's fine. I just won't show up to work. It's ridiculous. Guys, what I'm saying here is <laughs> I love this shit, bro. I, I'll, I'll do, you know what I like, you know what I love to do as I get bigger, like as my audience grows, you, you just start to attract a lot of people who think they know what you're about and they just don't, you know, like, the, like most of you guys are great. And I, I'm, you, 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 you all know this. If you listen to the podcast, you're pretty much excluded from all of this shit. This is where I come to yell about the masses and you're not really the masses because this podcast quite small. If you listen to this, I feel like, you know, my shit, you know, my direction and you know, I'm not trying to scam cunts. I'm just trying to become a fucking big comedian and make it with my stupid little dreams so I can tell my dick jokes. That's the fucking goal. And you guys are here on board with that. And I love it and I appreciate it. And I love you guys because this is the dream, right? advertising Raid Shadow Legends is not the fucking dream, but it's, you know, it's a, it's one step on the way there. Okay. You know, it's a step made out of poo, but I got to do it. <laughs> I got to step on that. You know, it's like when you step in shit, imagine if the, if there was, the, if, the, if the whole step was shit, you something, you know, you gotta, you gotta got those stairs, man. You gotta get some poo on the shoes, you know? Here's what I do. You know what I like to do with Mike, with creators that I like, I'll see them get an, get a brand deal. And I'll be like, you know what? I like this cunt. And I just sign up for the trial. Fake email, fake credit card number. Doesn't matter. Metrics go through. Looks like they got a good, did a good job. Maybe they get a new thing. Fucking download the game. Uninstall it one day later. Bam. Boom. <laughs> Straight to the moon. <laughs> Look, I do understand the fucking grievances. But what, what I find is funny is like cunts are like, oh, oh. I never would have thought you would have advertised this. It's like, dude, why? I watched all I watched all the videos saying that Raid Shadow Legends is bad. The only thing was it's a bad game. Okay. That's fair. Criticism. The the stuff about the microtransactions are like, yeah, just don't buy them. You don't have to get them. Like I played the game. I was like, okay, let's see how like um, true this pay to win bullshit is. I'm going to play the game for like three weeks. This is before I agreed to the sponsorship. I'm, I'm going to play it for three weeks and fucking suss this shit out. And if it really is pay to win, I'm not going to advertise it. It's just not, you know, it's so optional. I was fucking playing it every day, progressing through the game, through the campaign. I got like uh, 50% through the campaign and then I just got, you know, bored of it. But it wasn't pay to win. It might be, you know, maybe you need that shit to do PvP and stuff like that. But let's be honest. If you're getting serious about PvP in a fucking mobile game of any description, hey, you don't deserve to own money. That <laughs> you, You've blown it. Like, you can't be trusted with your own life, clearly. If you give a fuck about winning in a PvP mobile app, I'm sorry, but you don't deserve to vote, live in a house, or really be left to your own devices. If you get so far into any mobile game, not just Raid Shadow Legends, I'm talking any game that you can download on the App Store, even if it was fucking Flappy Bird, if you play that shit for more than 20 days in a row, they need to take your phone, no, you can keep the phone actually, they need to take your bank account, your right to vote, and any autonomy, and you just need to sit there and you can only play the game. That's the only thing you're allowed to do. You get fed three times a day, um, with that soylent shit, you know, we're not giving you any vegetables, no dessert. You get soylent three times a day, liquid food. And all you're allowed to do is play the game. And even if you want to stop playing the game, it's too late. You've made your choice. The rest of us don't want you here. Go away. You made your choice. You're not going to contribute anything useful to society. You have to sit in the corner, drink your soil and, and never contribute again. Those are the rules. I don't, I, well, I do make the rules and you know what? 
I will happily enforce them. That's how it's going to work from, from now on. Guys, I'm going to advertise Raid Shadowlands, and if any of you play it for more than 20 days, even you get locked into a hole. And as you get as you get dragged into the fucking cave screaming, Lewis Spears told me to download it, they'll look at me and I'll say, take him away, boys. But only women work for me. I'm a very sexist boss. That's how it's going to work. <laughs> I don't know. It's just, it's. I, I appreciate people... Uh, trying to have a level of accountability um, with creators because you need that, you know. If someone does something scummy, people need to call them out for it. I believe in that. You know, that better help stuff, that was just a bit weird. I think, though, the better help stuff, a, a lot of podcasters are advertising it, like a lot of big, like, more LA comedian podcasters are advertising it. I looked into it. It seems like they've cleaned up their act a little bit. In all of the ad reads, it says licensed fucking... Um, licensed therapist in all of their ad reads so maybe it's actually cleaned up their act since the big expose in and if so great that's a good thing uh, but i just think that there are re- there's there's really like people are looking for a uh, and uh, something to be outraged about or, or not so much not so much the audience but there's always creators like looking for Oh, the next scam. They want to be at the forefront of the next scam. And I feel like a lot of shit that just isn't a scam gets like caught up in that. Like stuff that's not actually a scandal gets caught up in that shit. Like, oh, this charity's fake because they haven't posted their proof. And then the end of that sentence is yet. You know what I mean? Like, oh, they haven't posted their proof yet. And the charity's like, yeah, because we're fucking, we're, we're doing it. We haven't got any receipts yet. We're fucking doing it. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. But the, yeah, the whole Raid Shadow Legends thing. Guys, what I'm saying is if I do an ad read and what, what? The video got 60, 70,000 views, probably on its way to 100, which is great, right? I reckon I saw maybe 20, 15 to 20 negative comments about Raid Shadow Legends. And then what I did, because I'm a mature adult, is I converted my entire Twitter account into a Shadow Legends stan account. Because that's what you get. If you try and block the bag, guess what? I'm running through you. I'm not going to go, oh, sorry. Oh, I'll just, I'll just delete it and violate my contract, take down the video and give all of the money back that I was going to pay my employees. Because you didn't want to see another ad for Raid Shadow Legends that you could have skipped by tapping four times on the arrow or the double tap on your phone. That's all. 60 second ad read. Made it funny. Made fun of the game. What the fuck else do you want? All right. Is it the the most immersive fucking game in the world? Absolutely not. Is it an incredible game? No, it's not. Is it a good mobile game? The answer is yes. It's a good mobile game. Right? Now, what I mean by that is, oh, That cake is as good as it could get without eggs and sugar. The flour will rise. It'll look like a cake, but the minute you take a bite, you go, fuck, this isn't a cake. It just looks like one because it's a mobile game. They're fucking apps, bro. They're not good. They're good for what they are, which is bad. And will I advertise them without remorse? Absolutely. Because I... Love paying bills. Cunts are like, oh, Lewis sold out. It's like, dude, what do you think I spent the money on? Me? Absolutely not. You know what's funny about all, after all of this, right? Doing the ad read, copying the flack from the 15 cunts, and then converting my Twitter account into a Shadow Legend stand, st- Shadow Legend stand account for fucking an entire week. I, t- I tweeted 20 times a day about Raid Shadow Legends. Sometimes I'm like, oh, I don't really know what to make a video about. I don't really know what to talk about. I'm a little bit demotivated. But the minute like four people get angry about something that I did, I will go out of my way to tweet, make videos and yell to piss those people off even more. I've never been more motivated in my life. Oh, I don't really know what to make a video about. I don't like that you did this. Oh, that's my whole week. Pissing you off. Because that's a personality flaw of mine that somehow has turned into a career that I have. P- 
pissing cunts off. One second, I'm going to start the camera again. All right, I'm back. What was funny was like how many fucking other creators were getting around my tweets. I've never had other, I've never had so many like likes and DMs from other YouTubers who just didn't have the nuts to go balls deep on this fucking Shadow Legends thing. It's like, oh, you're going to push me back? Well, guess what? Tsunami. I love Raid Shadow Legends and I'm not afraid to say it. Dude, let me say this, okay? I'm, and then I'm going to move on, right? Everyone's mad at me for promoting Raid Shadow Legends because they say it's pay to win. Well, you know what, bro? You either pay to win in this life or you lose for free. I know what I'd rather be, a fucking Shadow Legend instead of some broke loser. What, you don't pay to win in real life? Yeah, you do. Like what, if you're into running and you've got your regular shoes on, and someone's like, oh, you should buy Nike running shoes. You'll run faster. Do you look at them and go, nah, bro, that's a pay to win tactic. That's scummy. Instead of paying to win, I'm going to buy the exact same kind of shoe, but in a different color because cosmetic paying is fine. Paying for cosmetic items is morally ethical, but paying to get an item with a use, no, that's disgusting. Paying to win is gross. Do you, can you hear that? That's, that's every fucking... Every cunt who spent a thousand dollars on their gaming PC absolutely frothing at the bit at what I just said. <laughs> I'm just—I don't actually agree with that. I'm just trying to piss people off at this point. But I—but you—you know, even though I'm wrong and I don't agree with what I'm saying, I'm kind of—I kind of have a point though, don't I? Right? Pay to win. At least you get something. Instead of all this cosmetic DLC that's in fucking Fortnite, at least with, if, you, if it was pay to win, you get a new gun, you could win more, you get something, you know? It's so funny how, how, in, how the conversation has, in, has morphed from, hey, companies, stop charging us extra money for games we already paid for. That conversation has morphed into the type of stuff, extra shit that we will pay for that we've already paid for. You know, like it, we're all fighting each other instead of fighting the fucking global mega corporation that's like making 60% of a game and then charging us piece by piece for the rest. That's what you get. If it's a, if it's, you know what? If it's a free game, it can be chock a block full of microtransactions, and that's your fault for downloading the free game. And that's a fair game. That's what I think. I think like if you pay like 60 bucks for a retail game and they start chucking in DLC and all this kind of bullshit, I think that's a scam. I think that sucks. Uh, but if it's free, pump it full of shit. And if it's a mobile game, who gives a fuck? Huh? How about that? Who gives a fuck? All right, guys. I do like that, though. So many people got angry when I was like, man, you either pay to win or you lose for free. <laughs> you pay to win or you lose for free. I know what I want to be, a winner that pays instead of a loser for free. Uh, it is funny how sometimes I'm like, man, I'm going to argue the thing I don't agree with. I'm going to pick something that I don't agree with and then grab the dumbest point from that argument and find out how I can make it sound true. And that's how I got it. You either pay to win or you lose for free. And as wrong as I am, you have to admit, I do be spitting. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm going to move on. And I just want to let you know that I've, I've, I've heard your feedback um, and what I'm going to do is instead of advertising Raid Shadow Legends, I understand people's frustration and what I've decided to do is I've replaced them and I've picked up a new sponsor and from now on, because this is your choice, my whole channel and everything I do is sponsored by BetterHelp. <laughs> no, it's not, but I absolutely will do a Raid Shadow Legends deal again in a heartbeat, absolutely. And here's, here's, here's what I want from this, guys. What I'm saying is, right... The next time I do a brand deal of any kind, I want to see a celebration because that's what it is, a good thing. 
And that's what I want to see. Wow. Love the video, Lewis Spears. But you know what I love even more? 50,000 silver and a free champion from Raid. But for real, if you want to help me out, use my link and download it. You know what's funny? That after all of this, after all of this fucking controversy and everything like that, everyone getting angry, me turning my Twitter account into a Shadow Legends Stan account for an entire week, tweeting 20 times a day just to make the 15 people that commented something negative even angrier, even though they probably weren't reading it. You know what that's, you know what I've done? You know what that's like? That's like, Someone wrote, it made me die laughing. This is like day six of me tweeting every fucking hour about Raid Shadow Legends. Some guy just just tweets me and goes, this is like when one kid in the class interrupts the teacher so everyone gets detention. (laughs) And that's fucking true. If I get one negative comment, everyone cops it. Because I'm Lewis Spears and I am fucking petty. Now, the funniest thing about this, and I promise I'm moving on from here. I'm, I'm, I know I'm just making cunts rage, defending microtransactions in games for a meme, right? The, what, the funniest thing about all of this, and you don't know this, and I just found out this before I started recording. The best thing about this whole situation, right? The funniest shit is not people getting angry about Raid Shadow Legends. It's not me turning my Twitter account into a Stan account for Shadow Legends and tweeting about it for eight days in a row. It's not uh, that I I charged one amount thinking that I was going to get a certain amount of views and I actually got three times that amount of views, so I could have charged three times the amount of money. It's not that at all. The funniest thing about this entire Raid Shadow Legends sponsorship controversy is I read the contract wrong. I was supposed to put the ad 45 seconds into the video. Instead, I put it halfway, six minutes in. I read the contract on wrong. I read the contract wrong. And now, Raid Shadow Legends isn't paying me the money. I can't do this shit for free. I'm not getting any money from this Shadow Legends bullshit. The only thing I've achieved is pissing cunts off for free. Bro, I fucking told you, there are two types of people in this world. You either pay to win or you lose for free. And guys, I am losing for free. Literally. No money. I'm not getting paid from it at all. I just did it for free. They made money out of me and I fucked it up. Pissed off a bunch of people and I got nothing to show for it other than a week's worth of standing on Twitter and 20 angry comments. Fucking incredible. Ladies and gentlemen, Spearhead Sundays is back. Shadow Legend Sundays is over. I'm sorry. How are you? Right? I'm angry. (laughs) In case you couldn't tell. Oh, what a waste of my fucking life. Incredible, dude. You know what's funny as well? It was only 1500 (laughs) bucks. That's it. People are out there going, oh, he made like, he made 10 grand. And then I said, no, it was 50. And then cunts believed it. Dude, how much money do you think I have? A whole tour got cancelled. I'm taking anything. You want to give me two bucks to plug your fucking toothbrush? I'll do it. Jesus Christ. That is fucking awesome, isn't it? Take way under my, my fucking normal rate. So I can pay my people, cop a bunch of hate in the comments, convert my entire Twitter to a stand account, and then I don't get paid at all. (laughs) Oh, this is fucking awesome, guys. Isolation is setting me insane. How about you? You know, what I've 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 realized I'm. Ah, oh, this is about video games. Um, um, I was just gonna say that I think that I, I think I hate video games now. I've overdone it. I, I think I I think I I keep going around to all the games that I have, and I have a few games because you know you got you got a Steam account, you got a whole fucking back catalog of shit that you never played, you bought but you never fucking played. Steam winter sales are on. You buy everything, you play one of them. I go, I go, through, I go through all my fucking back catalog. I buy, I play a, I don't buy anything new, but I play a bunch of new games uh, that I've never played before, and I just I don't enjoy any of them. I don't know, I don't know what I'm supposed to do now. What am I supposed to do? I've been reading, I've been, I blasted through fucking two books this week. I'm getting over it. Uh, I fucking, I, I recorded like, I was so bored I recorded like six podcasts last week. 
guesting. I'm on Tom and Frenchie, by the way. Very funny guest episode. And we had Frenchie on the Luke and Lewis show. Very funny guest episode as well. Um, check out the Tom and Frenchie one, though, if you want to hear some reprehensible jokes. I when I, when I felt like I listened to the Tom and Frenchie podcast. And I was like, ah, oh, I get this vibe. It's really fucked jokes. I reckon I could break this one. I reckon I, could, I reckon I could, on the podcast that knows no bounds, I reckon I could go on there and make them pull back. And ladies and gentlemen, uh, if, you've, if you've ever wanted to hear Frenchie go, whoa, I don't know about that, you can listen to my episode. <laughs> That's the fucking shit, man. I love going on other people's podcasts and just like, like whatever rating their podcast is, whether it's PG, M, R, I like upping it one notch, you know? I love that shit. Do a radio interview where you can't even swear. Start talking about George Pell. Freak the fucking host out. Really good stuff. You do a fucked podcast and you just amplify it by 10. Make them pull back. It's really great stuff, guys. (sighs) Yeah, I think I hate video games. I'm sick of World of Warcraft. I played the new fucking Call of Duty Warzone. I don't like that Battle Royale stuff. You know why? Because it really uh, just points out, hey... You're bad. That's all these battle royale things are. If you don't know, battle royale is you get dropped into a fucking battle zone. Everyone, every man for himself. There's no team. There's no objective other than stay alive and kill everyone you see. And it's just, all it does is make people angry. That's what Fortnite is, right? Battle royale shit. Fortnite, fucking PUBG. Uh, I played uh, not Valorant. The one before that, fucking, I can't remember what it is. Not Valorant, and it's not Fortnite, and it's not PUBG. It's one after PUBG. Fucking, I don't know. The point is, they all just make you mad. You just, hey, I don't understand how that's a selling point. Hey, do you want to fucking jump into a game where uh, everyone will shoot you from three directions, and if you make one mistake, you lose, and you have to leave the game and start again, and you will never place first. At best, you'll maybe come 18th. 14th, I think is my best. 14, not very good, right? It just makes me angry. I feel like it punishes you for playing the game. And then it's, it's free to play, so it's full of fucking microtransactions just like Rain. But these are all cosmetic. They don't do anything. Oh, you can make your gun pink for 20 bucks. Okay, let me get mum's credit card. For some reason, this is okay, but buying a gun's not. The reason why pay to win isn't okay is because people with the most money will always be the best at the game. Guys, welcome to real life. That's what that is, real life. Oh, look at Bill Gates. He's just paying to win. Yes, he is. That's how the real world works, baby. Raid Shadow Legends, we're fucking, you thought I was done. I'm back into it saying shit that I disagree with and so do you because it amuses me, right? Pay to win is the only system we should accept in video games because at least you're paying for something other than fucking pink shoes. That, dude, that cosmetic DLC shit is cancer. I was there at the start of it. I fucking witnessed it start. Team Fortress 2. Perfect game. The most perfect game. Silly, balanced, fun, mods, community servers. New game modes that constantly got changed and better and altered by the community. The minute they brought in those stupid fucking hats and loot boxes and keys to open them, it destroyed the fucking game. Everyone went from playing two fort to sitting in fucking idle servers, randomizing them, opening hats. That did nothing. I got sucked into it. I was a young kid. Oh, I want the fucking Halloween hat. Shit did nothing. I want a different kind of sword. Did nothing. You get it. You feel empty. I need the next thing. At least pay to win. You get something, bro. Pay to win or you lose for free. Make your choice in this dirty world. Sorry, the camera died. Bro, my favorite thing that someone wrote was, dude, 2012 Lewis Spears never would have advertised this shit fucking mobile app. Do you have any idea... 
how much I was me in 2012 and how little you were me at any time? A hundred percent. I'm sorry, were you me? Are you hanging out with, did you get in a time machine and ask 2012 me what they thought about fucking Raid Shadow Legends? I don't think you did. I know what 2012 me would have done. And I, is, is what, do you have any idea how fucking broke I was in 2012, working in a call center, having panic attacks in the bathroom because I thought I would never going to make it as a comedian? Do you know how fucking far I would have jumped for 1500 bucks to advertise a mobile app? That amount of money would have made me cry in 2012. I would have fucking, I would have done the whole read naked for an extra hundred bucks. I was so broke back then. I would have done that shit for sure. I don't know. It's like, dude, Raid Shadow Legends is not a good game. So if you advertise it, you're a bad person. Dude, McDonald's make bad burgers. Usain Bolt's advertising that shit. Optus has shit service. Usain Bolt's the fucking face of it. If Raid Shadow Legends came at you with the bag, you'd fucking. And I wouldn't block it. I'd give you a leg up, help you grab that shit. That's what I'm saying, guys. Don't be a bag blocker. Be a Shadow Legend, okay? I'm going to fucking move on here. This is so, this is so fucking one student misbehaves and the whole, the whole classroom gets detention. This is what this is. This is the detention. This podcast is I get fuck. I, you know, I only got like 20, 15, 20 negative comments about the raid deal. And I've been yelling about it for 40 minutes. Who really wins in this situation? Not me. <laughs> Uh, I need to, you know, it's like uh, Six Nines coming back. The rapper, you know, he went away, he went to prison and he snitched on everyone. He came back, everyone's calling him a snitch. He got out of prison and then he sees everyone fucking calling him a snitch. He's like, all right, I got to roll with it. Genius. That's, that's, uh, that's all I'm doing. Oh, how could you like Raid Shadow Legends? I'm like, oh, you don't want me to do it? I'm going to do it even more, embrace the fucking meme. And then all of a sudden everyone's going to love this fucking app. That's what it is. That's the game, bro. Um, all right. I'm getting stressed, man. I hate shopping during this fucking Corona shit. Hey man, you know, I mate, it's not so bad. I've gone fucking almost 40 minutes without mentioning this COVID bullshit, right? I went shopping with my girl. We went down to fucking, I thought it was IGA. It was actually Ingham's. They've got an Ingham's in Frankston. That's how far in the fucking past. Dude, Frankston's so far into the past, I could probably find 2012 me and ask him what he thinks about Raid Shadow Legends. He'd be jealous. Probably try and rob me. They got a fucking Ingham's. If you thought IGA was shit, I'm buying my food from Ingham's. I hate saying Ingham's. Doesn't that sound shit? Ingham's. What a fucking stupid name. Ingham's. What's your name? Ingham. Oh, your name's Ingham. Yeah, Ingham. You know what that sounds like? Ingham. Ingham sounds like when you're trying to be quiet at night and you stub your toe on the kitchen table and you go, Ingham, Ingham. You know, like you're about to yell, but then you go, ah, oh, the baby's asleep. Ingham. Ingham. You fucking kick your big toe on the, on the door, on the, on the corner of the door. Ingham. That's what that shit sounds like. It's not a name. It's Ingham. My fucking toe hurts. Right, we go down to Ingham's. Ow, my toe. Go down there, and it is absolutely fucking packed. And here's the thing about Frankston: no cunts wearing a mask. No, no. I saw one dude wearing a mask and gloves, and everyone was looking at him like he had the fucking virus. Straight up, I bought N95 masks online. Hey, if the health workers don't have them by now, too late. <laughs> they've fucking, they've got them by now, right? They're gonna get it before I do. Isn't that crazy that, that like the CDC and the WHO were just saying, don't wear masks? Like they just lied? How the fuck are normal people supposed to trust the government or news sources at all 
when they so blatantly lie all the time. Like, in this day and age, how are you not supposed to become a conspiracy theorist? Because I don't think it's possible. If the fucking who comes out and says that Corona-19, there is no evidence of it being contagious, and that turns out to be a lie, and then they come out and they say that the face masks don't protect you at all, stop wearing them, and then that comes out to be a lie. How the fuck are we supposed to uh, also believe that Hillary Clinton doesn't have a tunnel full of dead babies that she eats to to stay alive? Like, where the fuck do we join, draw the line? Because you told us that masks didn't help, it turns out they do, and you tell us that Hillary Clinton doesn't feed on infant blood to stay alive. Which one of these are we supposed to believe? It's like, no wonder cunt, no wonder there's so much fucking misinformation out there when the government bodies and the powers that be are lying on purpose. When fucking, when a journalist talks to somebody who works at WHO, the World Health Organization, and they ask them about China, and they say, yeah, China's doing a great job, and then they go, why do you think Taiwan's doing a better job? And the fucking doctor hangs up on them because they're worried about pissing China off, a dictatorship that lied about this shit from the fucking start, and also maybe released it from a lab accidentally slash on purpose? That's who they're trying to fucking please? How the fuck are we supposed to trust anyone when that's the World Health Organization protecting tyrants and pretending that fucking Taiwan doesn't exist? It's this shit. The world's crazy, bro. This has turned. This has gone from me yelling about Raid Shadow Legends to me talking like I'm Alex Jones in like fucking Frankston. But that's the podcast, guys. Nothing of value to say and nothing to learn. Spearhead Sundays. I might get cancelled. That's the fucking motto. <laughs> it, it's true though. Like I've been thinking about that a lot. Like how how is the how is the average person supposed to trust anything that they read when that's when that shit is happening? Like can you imagine how much fucking trust the Who has lost for literally fifty years over them saying, "Oh the." the virus isn't contagious and don't wear face masks. Like that shit's crazy. I had someone yell at me because I was talking about wearing a face mask and go, face masks don't do anything. And like that guy wasn't wrong. That's what he had been told. He just hadn't read the update from the health officials that said, oh, actually, that's how this misinformation shit goes when no one can trust the people at the top because the people at the top can't be trusted. What the fuck is the average cunt supposed to do? You know, that's like when I, like before all of this lockdown shit happened, before it got bad, I went over to my grandma's house and I was like, hey, please don't go to the shops. I'll buy anything you need. And she goes, oh, I don't think I need to stay at home yet. Fucking three weeks later, she has to stay at home. And she should have been staying home for three years before that, but she was trusting the TV because that's how she grew up, you know? I mean, nothing's happened to her, but I know for sure other people's grandmas died because they had the same attitude. They all fucking lied to. It's weird, bro. It's very fucking weird, all this shit. And you know, now, now the government, uh, I'm, go- I'm just going full conspiracy, guys. I've been going insane, trying to enjoy video games that I hate. We're going to talk about conspiracies. I need to put this mirror down. I bet I'm blinding a bunch of people. Sorry, I'm fiddly, right? What was I going to say? Nothing of value. Ah, oh, yes. <laughs> I can't even remember what I was going to say. Who? CDC. Face masks. Dead grandmas. Fucking with the mirror. Maybe I need to pick the mirror back up again so I can remember what I was thinking about. Yeah, all this shit's crazy, man. That's right. That's right. I'm back into it. Right. The fucking Australian government comes out with their new app, right? Their new app to fight coronavirus. And what it does, you put it on your phone and it tracks you everywhere you go all day. Oh, you want me to put spyware on my phone? No. Who the fuck's doing that shit? 
A million people have downloaded it. The government's come up with an app that tracks your every movement everywhere you go 100% of the time and reports it to the government for safety. And they, they were talking a, a while ago about making it mandatory to download. Do not download that shit. Fucking ever. Don't even give the government the idea that maybe they could do this to us. No fucking way. A location... A, a fucking GPS tracker in your phone forever to the government. Because you know for sure that if they did make it mandatory because enough of it, uh, enough, what would happen is enough of us would download it voluntary for them to go, fuck it, let's just make it mandatory. And then as soon as this coronavirus shit is over, which it will be over soon, but it is fucking dangerous, stay in your house. I'm not going that far. And we're trusting the government on that much. Stay in your fucking house. You don't want to die, Right. But you know what's going to happen after this coronavirus shit blows over. They're going to go, yeah, look, uh, the coronavirus is over for now, but it's still happening in other countries. So we're going to need you to keep it on your phone just so that if it does come back into the country, we can control any secondary outbreaks and we're going to use it to fight other pandemics. Meanwhile, they're tracking our every fucking movement and using that to destroy any sense of individuality. No, we're not downloading that shit. That's what China has, bro. Look at those cunts. You go into the doctor saying that you've got a mild cough. They take you out the back, shoot you, and then burn you and give your family an urn that has some other cunt's grandfather in it, not their husband. Dude, this is the fucking hot take podcast today, isn't it? All right, let's do some emails, shall we? Guys, uh, I've, had, I've yelled enough about shit that I don't know anything about. I will say with everything that I've said today, other than the Raid Shadow Legends thing, I was 100% correct and any criticism you may have of me is invalid. Why? Because what you're doing is blocking the bag. And blocking the bag is, wor is worse than anything that I could have done. I'm going to say that. If you go onto a fucking content creator... During a crisis when nobody knows when the fuck they're going to make any money and criticize them for advertising a mobile game and then pretending it's because it has microtransactions when really the answer is you're annoyed by seeing the ad all the time. Let's be real. That's why people are angry about it. All of these other fucking reasons, their moral a fucking grandstanding about, oh, it's got, it's pay to win, it's got transactions, you don't give a fuck, do you? No, you don't, you're just sick of seeing the ad, and that's fine, because I'm sick of seeing it, and I'm sick of talking about it, and I'm sick of fucking getting the emails from the cunts, but you know what I would be more sick of? Living on the street and firing all of my employees. You know what's crazy? Ad rates are so low right now. My, my views are like twice that of last month and the earnings are half. That's fucking scary. Thank fuck for Patreon. For real. Because that shit's scary. Because I'm not making any money from Raid no matter how much I advertise the cunts, obviously. Um... Let's do some emails here. Guys, if you want to email the podcast, you can do it anytime. If you've got a story, you need some life advice, send it through to podcast at lewspears.com. This is miscellaneous bit at the end, uh, worst part of the podcast. Um, it is where I answer questions sent in by the listeners. Um, and uh, I just uh, see if I can help, which I can't. All right, where are we? Um... Du, du, du. What do we got here? Oh, we got a few fucking emails. Some of you guys have been bored. Um, all right. Girl I'm talking to is confusing the absolute fuck out of me. Hey, Lewis. Um, I've been a massive supporter for years, and I sincerely hope you're doing okay through this COVID shit. Thank you very much. Um, I matched this girl on a dating app recently, and she's been quite interested and keen when we're talking. The only issue here is she takes literally hours to respond to text messages, and I'm not sure if it's deliberate or not. We've exchanged phone numbers, and it was her idea to get to know each other on a phone conversation, uh, but she posts 
postponed at the last minute and we still haven't had the phone call. Straight from the get-go, she uses X's and O's and all that kind of stuff, so I'm sure she's keen, but when she takes ages to respond to my messages, it throws me off. Do you have any advice for my current situation? I don't want to lead myself into a situation where I will end up hurt, as I've had a terrible past with relationships and being with girls who aren't genuine. Hope to hear this on the Quarantine Franger podcast from Connor. Uh, or Auntie Comrade on the Patreon Discord. Oh, fucking legend. You're on the, on the Patreon? Mad cunt. Um, yeah, okay. Connor, here's what you do. Don't text her for a week. And then text her back and act like you didn't do that. Act like nothing's changed. Seriously. For a whole Seven days. Because what she's doing here is she is taking your advances for granted. What she's doing is she's playing mind games with you. All right? Now, not just girls. Girls are the main offender because girls are the people who receive the chasing. But a lot of dudes, fuckboys do this as well. Where if someone's interested in them and they're kind of on the fence about it, or they're talking to a few people, they'll just respond for endorphins. Oh, oh, I feel a bit shit today. I'll text this cunt. They'll say I look pretty. Ah, oh, that makes me feel good. Continue on with my day. That's what that shit is. A lot of people do this shit, especially, you know, in dating. It's just ego boosts and shit like that. So what I suggest to you, Connor, and it's going to be difficult for you because it sounds like you've never done this before, but honestly, take it from me, bro. Don't text her for an entire week. Don't give her a reason. Don't say I'm going to be busy. Don't say this. Don't say that. I am literally saying do not message, text, or do anything or contact her in any way for seven days. And then on the seventh day, just message her something like, hey, how have you been? And act like that shit didn't happen. And when they ask you, hey, why didn't you message me for so long? Just say, sorry, I was busy, lol. What's up? And don't give them a reason. Just let her sit. Because what she's doing is taking your advances for granted. And what you're going to do is go, okay, bitch. Here's how your life is when I don't chase you. It's a good little test, you know? Girls, you can do this to guys who you're interested in or you, you're unsure if they give a fuck about you. Just don't text them or even just don't initiate conversations. See what happens. You know, if you stop initiating and they never talk to you again, are you actually friends? Probably not. So that's my advice to you, Connor. Let me know how that goes. I'd love an update email, bro. Fucking battery died, bro. Fuck. That's annoying. I, I, um, I may have lost 20 minutes of footage. I don't know until I stop this thing. So if the camera disappeared, I'm sorry, but it's fucking, fucking back now. And if I lost 20 minutes of the podcast, guess what? You guys are getting a 40 minute episode. I'm over this shit. <laughs> All right. Um, what else do we have? Um, here we have crazy sort of ex-girlfriend and my mum. How's it going, shit cunt? You can call me Tom. I love Spears vs. America. Some of the best stuff yet. Thank you very much. I love that shit. Streaming on my website, lewispears.com slash watch. Um, so, I've been dating this girl. I had been dating this girl for six months when I met somebody else and decided I had moved on. I was seeing the new girl for a week or two, just coffee and non-sexual meetings, when I decided to break up with my old girl. Oh, it's a little bit fucking... I don't know about that, bro. Uh, one day I told her in a nice and respectful way we were done and it was not her fault. A few days later, I get a call from my mum. She's fuming. She asked me why I wasn't the one to tell her I was getting married. What the fuck? No way. It turns out my ex met up with my mum and told her we had gotten engaged Ring and everything. Mum is so happy and this girl isn't bad at all. Eight out of ten, smart as fuck. But I'm really into this new girl and our four-week relationship is amazing. I don't want to break mum's heart. What should I do? You're the best of fucking... What do you mean, what should you do? Don't marry this bitch. She's insane. What kind of 
weak-willed, spineless fucking snail of a man are you? Where if someone else tells your mum that you're getting married, you go, oh, I guess I'm getting married. What are you doing, bro? How easily fucking susceptible to peer pressure are you? Jesus Christ, you are the cunt that I would say, oh, you wouldn't jump into the bushes, and then you would do it before I could finish the sentence, and then break your leg. We would laugh and then go, ha ha, we're not inviting him out again. What are you doing with your life? You, are you, is that even a fucking, why is that even a question? You're emailing some idiot who runs a podcast instead of running as fast as you can away from this woman. Why wasn't your first response, what? I'm not getting married. I broke up with her. She's insane. Don't listen to her, mum. I'm actually dumbfounded. That's, I'm, I, I, I'm sorry, that was very mean of me to say to you, but you're also a fucking idiot. And I say that with love. I appreciate your support, and I'm totally about it, but you're, you're, you're also stupid. Not everyone who listens to this shit can be very smart, you know what I mean? And I know that people listen, listen to this right now going, aha, I would never be that dumb. You're not as smart as you think you are, and neither am I, okay? However smart you think you are, take yourself a few notches down. Now, you're probably not going to get down as low as Tom, because Tom is marrying women because their mum's thought that was going to happen and they're too much of a pussy to say, well, actually. That's all. Just say, well, actually, and finish the sentence. That's what you should do. Um, no, and then finish it. That's fucking insane. Oh, good. My computer died, so we've lost the audio. I'm not having a very good run today, am I, guys? That's right. We've still got the camera. Let me fucking pause this. Sorry, fucking computer died. We lost a bit of the audio. Jesus Christ, if I get to the end of this fucking podcast and I go to edit it, we've lost 20 minutes of video and 5 minutes of audio. I'm going to crack it and then I'm just going to upload it and you guys are going to deal with it because, uh, let's be honest, the podcast coming out on a Sunday is a fucking miracle. Whether or not it goes out properly, that's, that's who cares at this point. Um, yeah, dude, just start and then finish the sentence. That's all you got to do. This bitch is fucking crazy. If she takes you reasonably breaking up with her and then goes and tells your mum that you're getting married, even after, like after six months as well, crazy shit, dude. Get rid of her. Fuck. Yeah, they're, they're, I have no advice for you. Just tell the truth. Tell your mum, oh, we're not getting married. I broke up with her and then she did that. Never talk to her again. She's crazy. That's insane that that uh, has happened in real life. I love my podcast. Guys, I'm going to end it there. Uh, also, dude, give me an update. I would love to hear how this shit show fucking turns around. If I, if I don't get an email from you in the next couple of months, I assume she's murdered you and chopped you up in little pieces. Fuck, that's crazy shit, huh? Alright guys, I'm going to end it there. Uh, thank you very much for watching. I'm going to do my best to get another Rain Shadow Legends sponsorship. I, I truly do mean that. I'm going to try and get one just to make people even matter. Uh, and I'm all about that bag life. Guys, what I'm saying is, it's fucking tough for everyone. Let me advertise a mobile app so I don't have to fire my fucking employees, please. And when I do get a sponsorship, can we all be happy about it? Because it's a good thing for me and for you. It means I can continue doing this shit. Don't have to fucking stop, get another job, move out of the house. Huh? Is that, so, is that it? I'm not, I'm not going to advertise fucking better help or a scam, but I am going to advertise a mobile app. And guess what mobile apps have? Microtransaction. Okay? Can we leave it there, please? Fair trade. Skip the ad. Don't talk shit. That's all I ask. Thank you very much. I'll talk to you next Sunday. Support me on Patreon, and I won't do any ad reads at all. Alright? Have a shit one.